So now in this video, we're going to look at parallel LEDs and the principles we're looking at here apply to other diodes. And so they have a forward voltage and there's also Zener diode where you use it reverse uh, biased. So you look at its reverse voltage, but for the most part diodes when they're conducting, they're forward biased and you look at their forward voltage. But in uh, any case, the preferred method to having uh, diodes, LEDs, where they are wired in parallel is to still give them a resistor. So it's a resistor and an LED wired in parallel. That way you just set the resistor based on the uh, voltage like normal and if something happens to this part of the uh, circuit doesn't matter as far as that part is concerned and vice versa. So that's the preferred method. But of course adding resistors is more of a pain than just taking another LED and uh, slapping it right next to the original one that you had if uh, you had one and you're adding another one. So then you have a couple parallel LEDs and this is what will happen. So if you have a 5 volt power supply their red LEDs or another color that drops about that 2 volts. It takes about 2 volts for them to conduct. That 2 volts is lost as far as the resistor is concerned. If it's a 1 kilo ohm, 1000 ohm resistor, you're going to have about 3 milliamps of current going through it. So that's even with the two of them there. The voltage is going to be about the same across the resistor as if it was one LED or the other. So that 3 milliamps of current is going to go through the resistor, but then as long as they're both conducting uh, equally, uh, with the same voltage drop, half that current's going to go through one LED, half that current's going to go through the other. So we're going to have about 1.5 milliamps of current through each of them. And uh, so really no big deal for the most part. Now we're going to look at a, another scenario though where it could be a problem. So for our demonstration, I'm going to have a uh, yellow or an orangish LED that like the red LED has a 2 volt forward voltage. The green LED that's going to be parallel with it has about a 3 volt uh, drop right there. So it takes more voltage to get that LED to conduct, the green one. Once the uh, yellow or orange, whatever color it is, starts conducting, it's going to hold that voltage down to about 2 volts, even if like current went up or whatever. And so we'll never get to that 3 volts across the green LED. It's not going to light up. I'll uh, remove the uh, yellow LED though and we'll see that the green one finally does light up once we remove that one. But as long as they're parallel it will not light up. And so the 3 milliamps of current will go through that uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor because it's 5 volts with a 2 volt drop LED. The 3 milliamp of current is going to go through the yellow LED. So again that is really not a big deal except sometimes when you have the LEDs in parallel you want the full 20 milliamps of current to go through that uh, they can handle. So then you would need 40 milliamps of current to go through the resistor. But as you can see here, this one, even in that scenario, is not going to conduct. All the current's still going to go through that LED. You're going to have 40 milliamps of current going through that LED well above the 20 milliamps that you should stay limited to. And so it's probably going to burn out a lot sooner than it would normally. And uh, once it does burn out, then that one's going to light up. Again, it's going to have way too much current going through it, and it's going to burn out uh, sooner or later too. Probably a little bit longer than the yellow one did, but still, it's going to burn out. So it's better to uh, have LEDs that are perfectly the same, and even better to have their own resistor for each of them. And so here is our setup. Each one of these circuits is parallel to the other circuits. You can see they all start at the uh, positive supply and uh, end at the uh, negative supply there. So we consider that 5 volts, 0 volts because the power supply is set to 5 volts. Same with that one, 5 across that one and 5 volts across that one. These LEDs are all more dim because they're sharing the same amount of current. This one here appears to be about the same brightness as that one when they're both uh, by themselves. These other three seem a little bit dimmer for some reason, but uh, in any case, maybe I damaged them a little bit, but we'll zoom back. They all came from the same kit. We'll look at the power supply here. So you can see we have about 9 milliamps of current. There's about three going through each one of these, like we mentioned before, because all of these LEDs, they're dropping about 2 volts. So I'm going to pluck just one of these, and you'll see the other three got slightly brighter. And... Uh, now the other two 
right there got slightly brighter and finally I'll pluck the uh, third one third extra one will be down to one so there now you can see that one got a lot brighter it has uh, twice the current going through that I did before the current did not change here so now it's got all that current that was going through the four of them right there that is the main takeaway now we're gonna go to the uh, yellow one we have that green one that was parallel to it as soon as I pluck the yellow one now the green LED lights up and that may you know drop to a seven if it was close enough to dropping down because we'll have slightly less current now it takes a little bit more voltage to get that green LED light up there's slightly or quite a bit actually uh, less current at this low voltage compared to the other two but it's still uh, really bright as you can see there but uh, the main thing is that now we have three parallel circuits with their own resistor so if I pluck that LED now you can see we lose somewhere about a third of the uh, voltage this is not completely accurate a more accurate uh, display would show you a one-third drop and then we'd have another one-third drop especially if that was yellow but uh, for the most part it isn't so each one of them was passing current independently because they had their own resistor but when all the LEDs were sharing the same resistor they have a certain voltage drop so the current the resistor set the current from there but it got split up along among them as long as they had the equal forward voltage when they were unequal one of the LEDs was taken all of that so that's a visual demonstration of uh, what I explained with the diagram hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I post in click like subscribe the bell all that donate to patreon if you can I got a link down in the description that would help out a ton I'll see you in the next video